Okay, we're back. Um, here's where we left off. We got this sophisticated model that I made. And we're doing a three-point perspective view of this. And we have this other thing that is coming straight at you or going straight away from you in space. So we have a one-point perspective and a three-point perspective object. We're going to combine these two, kind of like, like this from a uh, side view. And I, I know just kind of whipped this out the last video. And I know you're wondering, like, wow, I know what you were thinking. Like, how can I draw this well? So it just, like, it's just practice. That's all it is, it's practice. So we have this one point perspective object and the picture plane, and we're gonna be looking down at these three point perspective, this three point perspective object. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make this a really specific um, drawing. We're gonna be looking down at a specific angle. I put 40 degrees here, we're gonna do that. And this is going to be at a specific angle to the picture plane also. So we need a very particular three-point perspective drawing diagram to uh, do this drawing. Um, it's going to be kind of fast. going to go through this kind of fast because mo almost everything that I'm going to be doing, we did in different videos. So it might be like a little bit of different approach than some of the other videos, but all the dots and angles and stuff like that, we've, we've kind of talked about those. So let's um, get this started. So um, since I want to kind of start with this guy, and we're going to figure out this distance. And let's make it four units. We'll decide what a unit mean, uh, stands for later. This is going to be four from here to the picture plane. And then we're going to have the viewer looking down at a 40 degree angle. We'll start with that and then we'll figure out this angle later. So I'm just going to make this my station point, the viewer's eye. In a three point diagram, this would be the vertical station point. And we want the viewer to be four units from the picture plane. So I'm going to make this, I'm gonna make uh, inches my units. One, two, three, there's four. So there's my four units from the picture plane. This is gonna be my center of vision. And we want to make the viewer look down at a 40 degree angle. So I'm placing my protractor here and going 10, 20, 30, 40. Here's 40. So this. Is, this is my vertical reference line and this is my vertical reference point and this put this down a little bit is my horizon line so this horizon line is the viewers eye level I know it's weird because we have this drawing that shows the viewer looking down but remember the the horizon line is always going to be at the viewers eye level so this is the eye level and it would be weird to set up the diagram this way in three-point perspective because the whole diagram would be at an angle and your horizon line would not be straight across. It would be angle two. So what we do instead of drawing it like this, we turn it so that the horizon line is able to be horizontal. So it's like taking this and turning it like that, All right? So there's our 40 degrees. And this goes to the center vision. And then with this coming here, it puts our vertical reference line along a vertical line. This is still at our eye level. It's just kind of turned at an angle. Hope that makes sense. So that vertical vanishing point is going to be 90 degrees from that one. So this is 
50. We have 90. Center of vision. So our angle, but now we have our distance from the viewer to the picture plane set up, and we have the angle that the viewer is looking from the ground plane. Um, now let's <clears throat> figure out this, how this is going to be oriented to the picture plane. Let's do like a plan view. So if the picture plane is here, let's make this here's the top of this let's make this angle i don't want it to be the same as that one so let's make a little different so let's say 35 right, and then 55. so we need that spot that will give us our true angles for this left and right vanishing point and um, before, when we set up a, a three-point diagram, we, I, I did it a few different ways, where I, I started with the three vanishing points, right? And with these, three, with these two vanishing points, I could just take a triangle and go like this and find it's going to, the spot where you get your true angles from. We called it a vertical axis point. So... This works great if you have these already there, but they don't, they're not there. So um, I can't like take a triangle and, and figure it out, like where that spot is supposed to be. It needs to be in a really specific spot. I can't just make it up. So here's a different way to find this vertical axis point. It's you take a compass or you could use a ruler and you take this distance between the vertical reference point, vertical station point, you take this distance and swing it here. And that will give you that magical spot. Now I want this, this three point perspective box that I'm drawing to be 35 degrees from the picture plane. And I'm just going to put a light horizontal line here to help me out. Here's 10, 20, 30, 5. And I could just... 40, 55 on the other side, but I could just also just put a triangle here because I want that to be 90. So that makes this 55. And I have my right vanishing point, left vanishing point. I have, um, so this is like almost there except I don't have any measuring points on here. I'm going to need those. So I'm just gonna finish off this diagram. Here's my vertical vanishing point down here and connect these, connect this one. So it starts looking more like that three point diagram. I'm gonna put these, um, The this is the right reference line and this is the left reference line. And these are a 90, 90. <clears throat> so notice I, I don't have a left and a right station point in this diagram. I can put them in, but I don't really need them. Once I have this, see we use that left and the right station point to find the left and right measuring points. But if I have this, I don't need them because I can just take my compass. This is a magical spot here, right? So I could take the distance from this right vanishing point to this spot and swing them up, All right? We talked about this in previous videos. Oh, this, this won't, it's not long enough. So I could use a bigger compass, but I'm just going to take my ruler 
and measure this distance, eight and a half, and put it up here, eight and a half, that works too. So this is my left measuring point and my right measuring point and my vertical measuring point. Take the distance from the vertical vanishing point to the vertical station point. Take that, swing it across, and hit this line. This is my vertical measuring point. And I still don't have measuring lines. This one that the vertical station point is on. This is going to be, whoops. This is almost on that red line that sometimes will happen. Doesn't always happen. Doesn't need to be on this red line. So this is my horizontal uh, measuring line. And this, since this uh, vertical measuring point is on this line, my vertical measuring line has to be this. It has to be parallel with this one. And if I make a line that is 90 degrees from this right reference line, that will be parallel to this. So I haven't put my scale in here yet, so I still have to do that. And I have to decide where this beautiful sculpture box is going to set. Um, so that'd be next. I know that was like really fast. Sorry if the head explodes from that. But um, like I said, all of these things did them in previous videos. So it's kind of putting those things together really kind of quickly.